Falcon Winter Soldier Episode 3. Um It's <clears throat> It's very much still okay. This episode was more exciting. Um spoilers if you haven't watched it. They broke out Zemo and they're looking for leaves to see who created the super soldier syndrome. Syndrome? Serum. Serum. There you go. Um and that took them to like Munich or something. And it was very smooth how they broke him out though. Uh it's it's also like how how are they not targeted? Because they were the only ones to visit him. And then he breaks out immediately after. Is the, is I really that stupid? <laughs> this portrays very stupid. Um But yeah, it's it's still okay. Uh I thought this episode was a little bit more funny. But I'm tired of the the buddy cop moments that they have. Um Sam and Buck. Um it's getting old. The shtick. It's getting old. Um, they had an argument about, like, uh, who's, like, I came out first. You supposed to follow me. And then Buck was like, yeah, but I said on three, you know, that type of stuff. And they like, yeah, okay. It's not funny anymore. Um, it was an appearance from one of Black Panther's military armed guards not armed guards but like personal guards i mean um the one that's i, I believe she's second in command to michelle from walking dead i can't think of her name i think her real name is danny i don't know her name in the in the mcu um but yeah she made an appearance it's interesting because when michelle walked she was in black panther the movie uh, and then went to that casino. She wore the wig. She hated it. But her, she followed them, the uh, Zemo and all them wigless. You know, she's uh, bald and free. So I thought that was interesting. Um, and it's because, like, all that stuff from um, Civil War, Zemo killed... Uh, T'Challa's father and they want revenge. Like they it got around very quickly. Zemo is out. <laughs> and it's like, where's where's America to follow up on that, you know? But whatever. Um, I think it's interesting, like, there's no other Avengers on this. Like, Zemo was a whole big deal, you know? And it's like there's no Avengers on this case right now. It's crazy. Um but, excuse me. No one likes Captain America. No one likes this guy. I think that's hilarious. Um, they go try to find out the this who's making the serum too. But they're looking for this one person in particular. Um and everyone he was this dude spat on his face and it was he grabbed him, was like, you know who I am? He was like, I don't care. He was like, oh shit. <laughs> You know, I don't know if it's because they hate Americans type of thing or they don't care about Captain America, period. Um, and I thought Zemo said something poignant that um, Sam has Cap on the, on the pedestal, which makes sense. You know, like the how close they got. Um, if they were on a run together. Um, and he said, like, we forget to look. We think they're like perfect type shit. But we forget that they, they have flaws too, and we ignore those flaws because they put on a pedestal. Um, you know, sitting there like, whoa, whoa, is that why him and Tony, like, Tony didn't put him on the pedestal? Is that why they, like, they had beef before Civil War too? Um, and a little riff after Civil War when, the, when Thanos has really become prominent too. So, like, that makes sense that he said that. It's like, dang, that's crazy. Um, I don't think Buck does that though. I think they grew up together. Like they, they, they were childhood friends, you know. And then they had similar stories, like just a man out of time type of thing. But Sam definitely has that boy on the pedestal. Um. Uh. 
that's really it. Like, <laughs> oh, Sharon is back. She she stole the shield for for Cap. It was on the run also. Uh, when did she steal the shield? Like, it had to have been uh, in game, not in game. Infinity War. She stole the shield for Cap. Or was it in game? I, I don't know. Like she was, it's, but I hated so she was whooping ass. While Zemo, Sam, and Buck was talking to the guy who redid this the Super Soldier Syndrome serum, um, and then some stuff happened. It got blown up. Zemo got free for like a two minutes, and then he put his mask on, and he like took out two people, and it made it seem like it was this whole thing of him being cool. But Sharon took out like eighty dudes. <laughs> She doing flips, she throwing knives, she stabbing people, she taking people guns and shooting them. But Zemo had that one little part, they tried to make it seem like he was the coolest dude. And I'm like, what? <laughs> that's just bogus. Um, but really, that's it. Not too much to talk about. It's just a, it's a regular, like, who done it show. Um, so that do it for this video. Please like, comment, subscribe. And yeah, pretty short and simple. I'll be back.